we can remember a number, number of promises, but Romans 14 is one. Romans 14, verses 9 through 11. For to this end, Christ both died and rose and revived, that he might be Lord of the dead and the living. But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set it not thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. For as it is written, as I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall uh, confess to God. You know, we're going to all stand before the Lord. And we know that if we are saved, we're going to spend eternity with the Lord. How about when we're worried about our faith? You ever get worried about your faith? Am I gonna am I gonna just give up some point? You see other people that fail? You say, could that happen to me? Philippians 1 6, he that hath begun a good work in you. First Thessalonians uh, 523 uh, is another passage. And then Hebrews 7.25. He is able. Let's look at that. Hebrews 7.25. Hebrews 7.25 Wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing that he ever liveth to make intercession for them. God has, has saved us. When, when God saves you, he doesn't save you to let you go. He wants you to continue. And he's going to work in your heart if you're truly saved. When it all comes down to it, the truth is that we need to remember that what time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. What is it that you're worried about? Maybe right now. What is it that you tend, are prone to worry about? Maybe as a teen, it's, it's what others think. Maybe as an older person, it's health issues. Maybe, maybe it's about children who are concerned about the direction. Whatever it is, let's, put those, let's, let's give those burdens to, to God. Let's put those things in his, his hands and let him show himself faithful. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I thank